Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to optimize Fortnite for maximum FPS, lowest input delay and reduce ping. Also um, this will fix stutters, so check this video and optimize your computer. We will use Elysium V2. This tool have 2500 optimizations, which is really big number of tweaks which will optimize your computer. And this is how it look, okay? Here in the about, we can see um, about what is this optimizer and every features. Um, here we can see few buttons, and this will disable telemetry, optimize performance, reduce ping, fix delay, reduce stutters, and priority tweaks. This is really simple, okay? There is the 2000 tweaks because you can just click and it will fully disable telemetry or optimize your performance, use the best settings to tweak your PC and yeah more but here is for example in performance tab here is the more advanced tweaks and um, why is it more advanced because we can set a lot of tweaks manually or we can enable them or disable them for example if we want fix quantum length we will just click this button and this mean um, it's activated and when you click it it will set it to your computer okay so now i apply this tweak to my pc and if i uncheck it um it will remove the tweak okay so this is um for testings because if you test every of these tweaks and the best values you will get the best performance okay because for example for someone this tweak um will do um for example stutters in game but for me, it's better to have it turn it on, so I recommend you test every of this tweak. Um, disable all collecting timer interval. This is a power saving feature, which is just best to make it um, just enable this tweak to disable all the collecting because yeah, it hurt your performance a lot. TDR level. Um, here we can see we can set it to 100, and I will use value 10. Also TDR delay I will use for 8 and every of these I will set it to 0. You can test for example uh, number, I recommend you using it for example like 5, 10, 20 and lo like this okay. But this works good for me. Apply processor tweaks, um, this will just basically tweak our processor to run it, to make it run as fast as possible. Power miser, this is for GPU and it will set your GPU to better performance mode which yeah this is basically the one of the best tweaks for GPU so I recommend you turn it on. Power tweaks, um, there is a lot of power plant settings, your computer power saving features to disable it so click it because um, this is not only one tweak for example this is one tweak second and for example here can be like 10 tweaks so yeah Microsoft Multimedia tweaks this will just per make your game more prioritize or um, lower audio quality but not much to increase your performance okay and also system responsiveness and network throttling so I recommend you turn it on URQ8 priority just set it to 1 because we will set it to highest priority for this and this is basically your GPU or, ti or it, sorry no GPU it's um, system timer which is good to set it to one okay it will lower input delay tweak wakes there we can set it um, to maximum value of five I recommend you set it to zero tweak resource policy store this is power saving features also some um, okay there's a lot of tweaks for example some battery savings and more and yeah there are just optimal settings here advanced explorer tweaks um, we will don't see more settings here or it will remove something from here but um, it will make it more faster and explorer is not only this but it's really important to tweak it for improve your fps in any game um, parent tweaks um, this tweaks us for um, power saving features and some basic tweaks in registry so enable a diagnostic tweaks 
Um, this means this will disable diagnostic because we don't need it and it only lower your performance. Loader tweaks. Um, this will lower um, load of our CPU and this is really important tweak because it can increase your API load. Network priorities. This will set um, priority to the maximum power. Okay, there is tweak where you can set the maximum power. Okay, basic value is thir 35, but uh, you can set it to 100. Okay, so this can improve your network by 70 by 65 percent. And fix MRT. This is um, tweak for your network, which um, yeah just fix it okay this will set the optimal value and there is more advanced tweaks you can see advanced prefetch and system tweaks okay i recommend you use this and test this okay but they work for me good really good if i um use all of these three and i almost forgot this okay there's msi mode this will set automatically msi mode for every your driver so just click it you can see there was a um, console which set everything for us and this will be USB idle. This is power saving feature for USB. You can see it now running this script. This is USB and when it hides it means it's applied. We can do the same for latency and yeah I will just set the best settings for you to make don't make this video super long. Set it to 2500 clock rate um, yeah, there is but one bug, but set it to maximum. System interval. Um, you see it on value 10. Debug pool interval set it to 1000. Latency priority. Um, there is um, the best value using on try it on um, number 6, number 3, and number 8. Okay, for me, number 6 for the best. Enable max frame latency, fixed latency tolerance. Um, this is just for latency tweaks, okay. Transition latency. I recommend you set it to 1 or 0. You can just with your arrows on keyboard, you can move it with this because there is, um, you can see 1000 maximum value, so it will be really hard to set it like this. But you can just click right arrow and you can see it will be set to 1. So try value 1 and value 0. I will use uh, value 1 latency and set it to 100 latency queue size and be really careful with the settings because for example um, this can do really like stutters or okay, glitches so I recommend using like 15 okay you can go lower if you have good PC if you have really low end PC don't set number 10 but for me number 10 is good but for example number 2 is really low for okay i don't have that much low end pc to make optimal value 2 for it so i use number 10 and i recommend you set this global data queue size uh, same as the latency so i will set it to 10. disable exit latency power idle and there's this power saving features and um, latency trees okay priority separation here we can set lowest latency, moderate or performance. So if you want the lowest latency of your computer, set this. Or if you want performance, set this. And if you want a like mix, use moderate. I will use lowest latency, but if you're low FPS, choose performance. Flex, set it to zero. And you can see here's advanced tweaks. High performance boost, this will lower latency a lot and also boost FPS. This will set optimal value for high performance burst, so apply it and ultra high priority. Um, this work with this and some other tweaks. So use it or test it. I recommend you just do advanced tweaks, test it. For me, it worked really good. Experimental, there are tweaks which I just recommend you use this, but these tweaks is really neat to test. So TCP size, um, I recommend using it in the 64. For ppm size <coughs> 100 um, this will make your cpu um, more it will just have more performance okay 
USB hub size, um, 3 to 100 and net power idle. This is something like, um, where is it? Um, wait, I forgot. Where is it? Um, this is something like the network priorities, but um, this is for another, this works the same, but you can set it manually. Implicit text, um, I recommend to test this, but for me, it's just not good, okay, so I will have it turned off. Um, you can see these tweaks are, for example, hardware acceleration, which I recommend you turn it on. And this is some another latency tweaks, um, so I recommend you test it one by one. Um, sample size, use it on zero because this will, mm, this is like anti-aliasing, which lower your performance, but yeah, just set it to zero. This set to 10, text contrast, six, gamma level, 1600, clear type level, set it to four. Okay, this, this setting has work for me. Okay, you can have, for example, here, like number 65 or any other. So I tell, I recommend you test every of these tweaks. Multi hop sets 15, 4x AFD, 4000 local priority, <coughs> and set it 6, 7, 6, 5, and 4. And enable this tweet. This is only for NVIDIA. If you have AMD, it will don't work. <coughs> and here we will apply the last 2000 tweaks. So I will check every of this box. <coughs> there is game mode, but I don't have uh, any game um, running now. But it will simply lower priorities of some processes, disable their priority boost, and you can lower their memory size. But this don't work really good. Um, I need to improve it in the free version. So don't use it now, but use these two tweaks. Also, there is BIOS tweaks and overclock monitor also custom power plan which is the best power plan you can get and yeah here um, is safe settings what does it mean um, this is for the testing okay so for example you don't need to remember every of this number but you need to click save you can see it's saved also do it here and in the experimental too after you will open the app again there will be the settings like when you open it first time but if you click load everything will be loaded like this and you can test again but this um, is in the folder but I will don't show it in this video also what is the overclock monitor for example on a 60 Hz monitor you can get 75 Hz or more um, in the BIOS tweaks BIOS is just really powerful to optimize your computer and if you want free version of this app um, in the description will be velocity booster which you can just install it like this you will have it on your folder it looks it's the same like this i have a lot of videos okay i don't know i will don't show you best settings in this video but there are a lot of um velocity booster videos on my channel where i show you the best settings that this is something like this but there is only 300 tweaks and there are 2500 tweaks so this is a lot of better guys i like this video subscribe my channel bye